Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Rooney here. Today we're gonna to take a drive through the downtowns of Elmira and St. Jacobs. On our route, we'll have a look at a few hotspots that help make our region so great, and I'll point them out as we go. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Coming up on the left is St. James Lutheran Church. This building has been standing in Elmira since 1915 and is an ar architectural staple in this quick... On the left, you'll see the Central Tavern Sports Bar. This Elmira staple has been serving up grub and slinging suds for over 20 years now. While there are a few fast food and specialty food joints in town, and the brewery does have a small, tasty menu, this is really Elmira's only traditional restaurant. You can typically find a few locals wetting their beaks here after a long... Kitty corner to the church, surrounded by extensive gardens, is the region of Waterloo Library. Though the building has seen some renovations and additions over the years, the original building from 19... Rolling into St. Jacob's, the first place you can see is Eco Cafe. For over a decade, Eco Cafe has been providing Waterloo Region with countless varieties of globally sourced, certified, organic, fair trade, direct trade, and Rainforest Alliance coffee beans. On the left is one of my favorites, Block 3 Brewing Co. Since 2003, this microbrewery has been showcasing their small batch craft beers. They've created some really delicious concoctions over the years, but the fun doesn't stop there. The brewery itself is an amazing place to hang out. Here's a fun fact about St. Jacob's. It's home to the original home hardware, which remains one of 100% Canadian. You'll notice quite a few of their shops as we drive. Coming up on the left are a string of Fat Sparrow restaurants and shops. Fat Sparrow is a restaurant group with unique standalone locations throughout Uptown Waterloo and St. Jacob's. Just a stone's throw down the road is Toy Soup, the local toy store. If you have kids, or at least still have your inner child with you, this is a cool place to poke your head in while in town. They offer toys and games for all ages. Take a look at the, to the right and you'll see Tea, Earth and Sky. This quaint little shop is heaven for tea lovers, as they offer over 50 different organic loose leaf teas, as well as tea wares, oils, and a whole bunch of knickknacks. I've enjoyed many a tea from this lovely spot. Thank you. 
heard of St. Jacob's, then you've heard of the farmer's market. With over a million visitors a year, this is Canada's largest year-round market of its kind. I've toured the market before, so if you'd like to know more, feel free to check out the video on the Best of Waterloo Region's YouTube channel or Facebook page. The market is awesome, and they've got something for If you're coming from out of town and are planning on checking out the market and the rest of St. Jacob's, then you'll probably need a place to stay. Luckily, the Holiday Inn and the brand new Staybridge Suites are right across the road from the Farmer's Market and Outlet stores. Headed up by owner-operator Nishad Ismail, the staff of these hotels truly care about their guest experience and their passion for service can be felt in every aspect of your stay. Well, there you have it. The rural areas that help make up Waterloo Region are just as cool as anything you'll find in the cities, and there's lots to see and do. Make sure you swing through and check out some of the many great places that Elmira and St. Jacobs offer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that drive as we continue to look at the best of Waterloo Region.